Hello everybody, it's me there, and welcome to my mod review from my mod, Fazbear Entertainment. This is actually a mod I made. Yes, I'm impressed with the fact that I actually made a mod as well. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to make a mod, but I, I made one. I actually tried my hand at it and made one. Also, if anyone's wondering what this is, this is a structure that spawns with the mod. In fact, this is going to be the first thing I'm going to show off. So... This is having a bug right now. It's supposed to have doors on it. They're supposed to be... Let me grab them from this chest. Pizzeria doors. This is just a small factory. There's two structures that spawn with the mod. This and a small wooden shed that spawns in the dark... The dark oak biome. But I have the thing spawn rate set so low that hunting for it would take like an hour. Because it's super rare. And also that's having the same bug. So basically this is supposed to have doors on it. Which are these doors. Again, glass door. Sounds like glass when you break it. But it's also supposed to have an endoskeleton. And this chest was supposed to have a few modded items in it. So, fair warning. This will be fixed in the next update. But in the first release... There is this bug. I don't know what the fuck caused it. It just happened when I put up the world and it was already on the mod page trying to get uh, okayed to be actually be put out. So it just it was already too late to fix it. <laughs> so I'll be releasing another update soon to fix that and probably add some animatronics and stuff. But yeah. If you don't know what this mod is, this is finance phrase stuff, so hence animatronics. And this is the first structure that you can find. This is the planes biome. This is the much, much less rare structure. I'm probably actually going to upgrade its rarity later, but <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to start with the actual animatronics and everything. God, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm like, this took four days to actually get on to the fucking Curse Forge. So, <laughs> so that is a thing. Um, so we're going to start with, of course, the Endo. The Endo is the entire basis of this mod. Um, there's going to be multiple different Endos. And no, everything's going to be able to be crafted and used in Sarama. I already have all the recipes. They're all here. If I actually go here. Don't mind these other tabs. These are like create and stuff. <laughs> this, this is a pack I'm using for something else. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can craft the Endo 01 with iron and a redstone block. And you can craft the Endo 01 head with iron, glass panes, and a redstone block. In this order. So, yeah. When you have this item, you can actually place it down. And you have an endo. It doesn't move in the state. I actually, You actually have to do something in order to get any of the animatronics to move. You can have them inactive, which is what this is. You know, it spawns in, it's inactive, you just placed it down. You know, it doesn't move. But, let's say you want to pick it back up. Because you, like, placed it wrong. You can just grab this hand truck, which can also be crafted with just some iron in the shape of an L. A backwards L. Um, but yeah. Boom. Pick it right back up. Close it right back down. And if you want to turn it on, just grab this animatronic controller. And this, this applies to any animatronic. And it'll start turning. And they don't walk around. They don't, like, move all over the place. They're supposed to be, like, stage animatronics. They're meant to be on stage, sitting there, not doing much other than, like, singing and dancing. So, you know, turning being, you know, dancing. But if I turn it back off again. Uh, as you can see, we have multiple animatronics. Now I'm going to show you how to get it, but first I'm going to grab a screwdriver. So, in order to get any of the animatronics, and I just realized there's actually one missing. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't add that because reasons. <laughs> Um, there is one cigarette animatronic that you can't... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab, uh, I guess, Foxy and the bow tie. 
So first off, we have Unwithered Foxy. He's here. This is a model. He looks good, as you can tell. You can hand truck him. He becomes the item. Then you can place him down. But then you can also take off the suit. And it goes back to being normal endo. Anyway, I'm gonna grab all of these guys so that I can show you all all the things. All of the animatronics. Side by side. And you will notice that the endoskeleton is actually inside of all of them. Because I actually used the endoskeleton as the base model. So as you can see, the endoskeleton is actually inside the suit. I went super detailed. So here's Freddy. Unwithered Freddy. Notice this is not like FNAF 1 characters. These are the old versions of the Withered animatronics from FNAF 2. I guess the ones you'd see in like um, FNAF 4's cutscenes. Because those would be the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That would be the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza from 1983. Not the diner. Not the diner. Because the diner was actually before that, according to the timeline. If you actually pay attention to the games, they actually call it Freddy Fazbear and Friends. And that would mean that it's not the diner, it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. But, we also have things like Bunny, Chica. You already seen Foxy, but I'll put him down anyway. So as you see, Bonnie and Chica, Aunt Freddy and Foxy, all four of the originals. I rather like their models. They're rather good, I will say. Foxy's hook is as good as I could manage. I know it could probably have been made better, but that's what I could manage. <laughs> um, but then we also have Golden Freddy. We have uh, Fredbear, which Golden Freddy is, you know, just recolored Freddy. Fredbear is different. Fredbear is this, because Fredbear is actually a lot different from Freddy or Golden Freddy, like, based off their design. Like, if you played FNAF 4, you know, the design for Nightmare Fredbear. All the designs for the Nightmare animatronics are very close to what their animatronics looked like back in that time. So Fredbear is actually not Golden Freddy. It's a separate character. <laughs> Which is weird, but also makes sense. So as you can see, also you notice the creepiest part about them is that their eyes kind of follow you. Because their eyes are like laid into the head. The optical illusion. Which is great they can get it in this game. <laughs> Makes things slightly more creepy. And of course we have Spring Bonnie. Which is Yellow Bonnie, basically. And we're going to time that day again. So, I will note, none of these attack. Especially not this one. This one cannot become haunted or anything. This one cannot attack you. It's Pants Dan. He's just there because I want to add trash in the gang. He's the only member so far. I'm going to add the rest. And, in fact, it'll probably be in one of the animatronics I add in the next update. But... <laughs> uh... So, yeah. As you can see, lots of animatronics. But that's not all, because clearly none of them are moving, none of them are active. So, here's what I added for... There it is. The animatronics, when you turn them on and they actually have their suit on, they all make different sounds. See? And Chica has a cupcake. Chica has her cupcake when you turn her to active. Foxy. Golden Freddy. Red Bear. And Spring Bonnie. I'm going to delete, destroy that grass so I can actually get a good look. So as you can see, there's a good number of animatronics in here. 
So again, you can get all of this in survival mode. So there's actually one animatrix I haven't shown you. And it's actually a new one that I just added. Actually, there's two animatrix I haven't shown you. I forgot to spawn in. Red Bear. Red Bear is actually an enemy from um from FNAF World. I'm actually gonna turn these guys off real quick. Turn off, please. There we go. So yeah, Red Bear is an enemy from FNAF World. I just wanted to, like, add characters from that as well, because they could be cool as, like, animatronics. In fact, they could be really cool as animatronics. So, yeah. Here's Red Bear, just recolored Freddy. Because that's really all he is, is a recolored Freddy. But frankly, he's kind of creepier than Freddy because of what I did when he's in haunted mode. So, first, let's go over, not that. Let's go over two things. I need this. I'm going to need this. But what I'm also going to need is something I forgot to grab. Village rig. So, first off, the hand crank. So, these three animatronics, you can use a hand crank on. All three of these are spring lock animatronics. And I actually need to make a little bit more room in my inventory. So we're going to just slap all these out. Oh yeah, I should probably... I need to grab pants out again. <laughs> Fuck. Got to show one thing about pants stand. The pants stand is actually the only one you can just craft directly. And that'll give you the thing. It's an iron ingot, some sticks, and there you go, pants stand. And I forgot to show you all the recipe for the screwdriver as well. Push R on it. Iron. And a red terracotta. That's it. And as for the animatronic controller, iron and redstone. So if you make this hat and bow tie, which is a hat and bow tie combined, which is black wool in this pattern, and... Black wool in this pattern. So yeah. If you slap this on an animatronic, you get Charles the Endo. This is actually a custom animatronic that me and my friends thought up. Uh, it's, to be exact, it was me and Enzer who just were fucking around. We saw an image that someone had created of like an Endo with a fucking bow tie and a hat on. And we were just like, we should totally make an animatronic based off that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we made Charles the Endo. He is fully functioning. He has all of his stuff. But yeah. Actually, I'll just slap him there, and then I need another Endo. Give me. You'll see what the possessed shit is in a minute. So yeah, as you can see, we have all the animatronics. But we have the hand cranks. I completely got distracted by the fact that I missed something. <laughs> we have the hand crank and the spring lock animatronics. God, I'm, I'm making a chaotic showcase of this. I am sorry. Anyway, we have these guys. While they are inactive, you can take the hand crank and click. And you will get spring lock suit. And the boots got set up here. So, what the spring lock suit does is, well, for one, it looks rather good. Does not match my character's eyes because they're not in the right spot. But <laughs> if they were in the right spot, you know, you'd actually have your eyes there and be able to see out of it. So, one thing that these things do, and actually I'm going to slash set spawn... <laughs> Set world spawn here, place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the water here in survival mode. Because this suit actually does kill you if you touch water. So don't go into the water with that suit on. It is literally death. It will end you. 
with any spring lock suit, you get crushed to death. Because, you know, an endoskeleton just reformed where your lungs once were. It is an entire thing. That took a bit to figure out, actually. I had to figure out that code of my own. Because my friend Joust had done it before, but also the way he did it was ridiculous. And didn't work very well. So I'm going to go back to creative mode. And we're going to grab the hand truck. And we're going to pick these all up. Except for him, because we're going to use him in a second. So. We have a villager here. Let's say you want to get this remnant. Uh, all you need to do... Is take a sword! Stab yourself a villager, and boom, remnant. That's all there is to it. Now, if you give remnant to an animatronic... The the endos are the easiest to see this on because they actually change their eyes. Normal animatronics will not do this when they're in inactive mode. Um, but if I turn it on, it'll go back to normal and act like nothing happened until time set night. That's happens. This is where they start walking around. So as you can see, it is a possessed, or aggressive, rather, Charles Xander. So I'm going to grab each of these. Hold on. I'm going to put all these. And now I'm going to put that in there. So if I grab all of these guys right here, the possessed versions... So, is that Stendo? Is that Wither Golden Freddy? Bonnie? Fredbear? Freddy? Foxy? Chica? Normal Bonnie? Red Bear? So, these guys are all inactive. They don't do anything. They will not become aggressive until you use the Amatar controller on them. Then boom, eyes light up, eyes go dark, he starts making that noise. Golden Freddy, I forgot to give Golden Bunny, I forgot to give eyes and Fred Bear. Freddy does it. He makes his noise. He is just creepy as fuck. I did it. I had turned down my own game audio, holy shit. Master volume, there we go. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they all make noises. Chica doesn't have those eyes. Bonnie does, Bonnie has creepy ass eyes. Bonnie is creepy as hell. Him and Red Bear are probably the creepiest of the animatronics. So I've just got a time set. Day. So again, wait for all the all the sounds. To, wait for all the sounds. Wait for all the sounds to go away. So again, these are all now aggressive. If you you know try to fuck with them. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn them all off. And we're going to just have one of them come at us. Because, frankly, we do need one to come at us. Uh, no, we're going to have the endo come at us. Oh my god, this baby zombie, fuck off. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um... So, this guy is still active. At least he should be. Yep. By time set night. If I first game mode survival. 
and then time set night, he will start to kill me. And do that. Time set day. And we're gonna go game mode. Creative. So as you can see, they are aggressive. They are kind of assholes. And they will kill you. So yeah, there's all the features. All the main big features. Except for the recipes. Now, we've already seen the endo head. So let's start going over all these other recipes. So we need... With the foxy suit. I know I took the foxy suit, but where'd the foxy suit go? There's the foxy suit. So I need these. So if I take these, which are, you can see that Chica is made with yellow wool and white wool and the unwithered Chica head, which is more yellow wool and orange wool and white wool. And that's possessed foxy. Never mind. That is not the suit. I grabbed the wrong item. I am a dumbass. I am wholeheartedly a dumbass. Now, Foxy is red wool and the unweathered Foxy head, which is also red wool and white wool. Now, Fredbear is yellow wool and the bow tie, which I showed you earlier. It's black wool. And also the Fredbear head, which is... The hat, which you already know, yellow and white. So, Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie is a different one. To Spring Bonnie, you need to just dye the normal body suit yellow. And the normal body suit is crafted by purple and a tie. And purple wool and a tie. And the unwithered Bonnie head. Which is also a purple wool and white wool. So, Red Bear is you craft the Freddy suit and then just surround it in red. And then the Freddy suit is also crafted by brown wool, a uh, hat and bow tie, and the unwithered Freddy head, which is, you know, fucking brown wool and white wool. God, I am running out of breath while I'm trying to describe these. I'm sorry. Uh, the Golden Freddy suit is crafted with yellow dye and a Freddy suit. I've already sent you the Freddy suit. And there's another crafting recipe that I have to show you. Which is these. These are actually how you get the spring lock suits. So I'm just going to grab one of those spring lock suits. Um, not this one, though. I need a normal one. I need... I'll go to Spring Bunny. So, what this is, this is a spring lock and this is a lock. You need a lock to craft a spring lock. So a lock is four iron nuggets. And a spring lock is a lock and two more iron nuggets. And that allows you to craft any of the spring lock suits. So it'll be generally the same recipe for each of them. Just, you know, replace said suit with the suit here. So it'll be a spring lock suit, an endoskeleton, or an endo one, rather, and a spring lock. And you can actually craft the suit back into the animatronic. So, that, like, you know, you can get the animatronic back after you transformed it into the, um, into the suit. So, what you do is you take the suit, craft it like this, or, you know, sometimes the, the feet have to be on the other side, but, you know, it swaps between where the feet are, because the feet can't fit in a 3x3 three three fucking grid. <laughs> it's a four it's a four item thing, and I have to fit in a 3x3 three three grid. So, yeah. That'll allow you to get the spring body suit again, and that allows you to craft back spring bonnie so now we're gonna move on to the thing that i haven't made crafting recipes yet for yet so the well except for 
this. This actually does have a crafting recipe. The doors have a crafting recipe. It's just glass panes in the shape of a door. And boom, pizzeria door. But we also have pizzeria floor, some walls, some more walls. So here's the floor. Now, so for anyone who's wondering, there are two, there are like three textures that I did not make myself in this mod. And that is the animatronic controller. I can't take credit for that. That that belongs to one of my someone who actually offered to give me the give me the texture. So props to them. Their name. They're one of my fans. They were just watching my stream when I was making this. And I was just like, yo, I could fix that fucking texture because the original texture I had for this was garbage. It was horrible. <laughs> I'm glad that I got a better texture. But now we have this, which is also by my friend Ace. He offered me this texture. Looks really good. And this texture. Which honestly looks really good, and I made this one. It's just a pure gray block compared to any of the other ones. Has no, like, little bits in it that make it look weird. Just flat gray. We also have the arcade floor, which I made. And this one actually turns, like, where you place it. So you can try and, like, fit it to what you want. Like, that looks pretty good to me. And, um, we also have, of course, you know, you already saw this. And checkered block, which is an old version of the pizzeria floor that I had that I got rid of because it does kind of look, give your eyes, like, strain over time. But I figured people might still want to use it for something. So I'd keep it in, but I would just change its block. And it's used for something different now. Whatever you want, really. So, and I'm sorry if you guys can hear all that noise in the background. People are being annoying today. <laughs> um, But yeah. We also have this. Which I kind of made because... No, I wanted to have, like, a blue section or, like, a blue building. And I feel like it fits. It looks... It looks okay. It looks good. In all honesty. If you want a pure blue block. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is the entire mod. This is everything that, that is featured in it. All of the animatronics will kill you if they have souls. If you don't want them to have souls, just don't give them remnant. They won't, they won't attack you. They'll just be an animatronic sitting on a stage. Before I go, I was going to end the video there, but I completely forgot. There will be a link in the description, of course, to download the mod, as always. Um, but, yeah. Let's see how many downloads we can get, I guess. Uh, this will this be a very fun mod. I plan to add a lot of animatronics. Uh, I can't wait for the future updates. But anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video, live stream, or whatever I do next. Peace, guys!